Hello everyone, B Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on. It's what it all comes down to. LeBron James is one of the greatest men if you're playing with the player of the Cavaliers. But his team, he now refuses to quit. He never really wants to give up. But now, his team really needs him for the Lakers. Yeah, they all say contracts are everywhere. But this was never been the fella that he ever won the finals since 2016 with the Cavaliers. But this all has to happen. Every other time, they give him what he wanted. Well, LeBron James, a definite word to make that one helpful. A moment. They really loved him. It's fantastic in the first half today. He got him off to a great start, and even with that, we were only down three at the half. Um, I think it's been the timely shots by their role players. Um, obviously, the, I think the KCP, the Michael Porter Jr., the Bruce Browns, um, even Jeff, you know, hit a, a big-time timely shot today. You know, we were kind of going on a run, so um, I, I think it's been their supporting cast have kind of uh, made those timely shots um, that's, uh, you know, allowed them to kind of have the edge. We'll be here all night. Two yeah. on one for the Nuggets. Brown, Caldwell Pope with the lefty layup. Just get him open. Just get him, get him the ball and get him open. Uh, and, and see, I think it's so cool to see when when he when uh, he when everybody's like you just get him the ball and screen for him, do something, just make them make some kind of little mistake so he can go and work. It's always a rematchable from Nuggets and Lakers. They've always been a tough team, but they never get around easily to make that win. The ultimate matchup in between Nikola Jokic and LeBron James. It's always tough. But no one may never know if there is a higher range than that. Western Conference Finals against the Lakers back in 09 as Jokic throws it up and in. Just his fifth field goal attempt. Murray fires away a three. It's good. Jamal Murray struggling all night, making some big buckets here in the fourth. Joker working from the nail. Tough fadeaway. Counted and one. Oh, the joke's on you, Los Angeles. I mean, I never, I never, I never doubted, doubted my team, and um, I know what they're capable of. You see, in a, in a third, third quarter, KCP had a huge, huge long segment, like four minutes. Of it. He had, a, he had a big box out on AD. He had a turn, he had a, a steal. He had a big three, two big threes, or one big three. So I mean, you know. We have some really good, really good players that can can step up in, in the right moment, and, and that's what we did. Lakers, Nuggets, next on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome to the second game of the doubleheader for the Sunday Showcase. As right now, it is ready for the court. As right now, both teams are warming up. As we see the Los Angeles Lakers and Denver Nuggets at, back in mile high. So I heard that the last game was a devastation. It was an early start for the Seattle Kraken. Well, not to worry about what happened, but you never know what to expect if they are coming back here to do it again. Hopefully they're gonna try to keep it going, but it may not be enough if you're gonna try to like leave it out with the mark. So at this moment, it's gonna be a tough one to keep an eye on this one because the wild card teams are not giving up at this moment. But now at that moment, it's time to figure out who will win the next game. I will have Mipho along with OJ, and finally, the third contestant is Fan. Actually, Test Tube, I will replace it here for OJ, because we already have done that one here for the Stanley Cup. But he'll be back again soon, I promise you all. But in that moment, enough of being said, let's get into Fall Back to Ball Arena in Mile High. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your second and final of the Sunday Showcase game. Let's get started. 1-0 is a series for Denver Nuggets. 
UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Western Conference Finals. The greeting of the Mile High. The doubleheader is happening here for the Sunday Showcase, as right now the courtesy of this game is where we come in, as LeBron James and Jokic are in a possible range to try to find out who will take the next one here. Lakers, Nuggets, coming up after this. Welcome to Mile High at Back at Ball Arena for the second game. I'm Me Phone 4 along with my broadcasting partner, a test tube and fan. This is the NBA Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Here we have Steve. Well, thank you, Kevin. Nikola Jokic has a signature move. A long fadeaway jumper dubbed the Sombor Shuffle after his hometown. Jokic said, I twisted my left ankle and it was painful to jump off of both legs. I started jumping off the right leg and the ball was going in. And I said, maybe I can use this. Hey, Kevin, it's been working. Back to you. It has, it has been doing this so, so far. <laughs> Thank you, David. Game two. About to be happening here for a part uh, in this game. As right now, the key match is in between Davis and Jokic. Now, I'm really saying that Anthony Davis was really like pulling up at one of his better stroke of his attacking. The motion is not really seemingly what he was going to do. He's really into this one. But the moment seemed to be changing it off. Nobody has ever done it just like he does. And better record for his career. Darvin Ham, Ham, I've never seen how he was doing on a lot of postseason of the game. It can be a little bit difficult range, but not to worry. They might be showing it off what they got. With the Lakers winning some face off. Wins the tip off and now they're on. As right now the courtesy lamb is fueled up by Gatorade. Fueled up and ready to go. Here are the starting groups of the game. Reese is on Carwell Pope. Russell's on covered on Jamal Murray. Vance Davis on Jokic. Aaron Gordon on Jared Vanderbilt. And Michael Porter Jr. on LeBron James. He's the greatest player here for the Lakers, and after he played here for the Cavaliers, we never see how well he was gonna take him over. I had a lot of training of it. My coaches are very aggressive. They never see what was going on because they really keep it on going. I want to know if I can get that one in touch. It really has to go with someone else. They need to try to figure it out right away. Aaron Gordon passes to Carvel Pope. Now swing it over to Jokic. On the outside is Murray. Hasn't scored yet for the last couple of it after uh, the second half was pulling up. After Michael Porter Jr. had that three down, and there he is! There's your first three-pointer for game two of uh, Michael Porter and Jamal Murray with these six. Now that's the communication out there. They're really showing it off like they did. They need a lot of help. They gotta go find another deep board range to the motion drive. Jamal Murray hits the rebound after a miss by LeBron James. Murray passes to Porter Jr. Back steps the pass, bounce pass to Jokic. Shoots over Davis, and a score! One and two for Jokic. He has his first bucket, and Porter Jr. with the assist. Now that was the communication out there. When you know that Porter Jr. gives a pass, you got to believe him. And a deflection by Aaron Gordon. Back to Jokic says, thank you, sir. It's my turn. Oh man, I never knew how that pass was going to get there. And that was really turned out because Aaron Gordon wasn't knocking it out. Throw up both passes to Murray. Five on the shot clock. The three is off the mark as Jokic brings it back to Gordon. Moves it back over to Murray with only 3.45 to go. Need a new change up here. Bounce pass to Jokic. Shoots over Russell. Good, Jokic with the second bucket. Got that better at a driving angle in the in the paint. This area may be just a clearer, clearer vision. That may be turned out like he was there. And that was a great replay presented by Mobile One. Here's Porter Jr. on James. And Jokic adding another rebound back again to Murray. After a Monday loss against the Denver Nuggets, they have already made a win. They shut them down here, and this was their shutout win 
for the Denver Nuggets in the Western Conference Finals were the real game. How did it really happen? Well, because they were really are trying to like keep them out of there, they were really on a bit of strike. The target of this rating is out of sight. But you can't just let it go like they're like they're already like open wide enough. They're not really like getting enough. And because of their energy, they're really are on to a uh, bad start. And right now, in the third period, the aggressive was on, on Aaron Gordon on LeBron James. He's really getting enough uh, impressive on this one guy. He's making being too much of it. He's not settle down with that, with the aggressive on the on the play in this high time. Attack from the offense and defense, it is turning out to be very that close. Yeah, and they're really not tough. They're never gonna be able to do it again. Because right now, for the last season, it was the Lakers that put up a win in that regular season. But I think the postseason, I think it's gonna happen the same thing just like it did. First time out called by Los Angeles Lakers with only 258 to go with under three minutes. Trying to get it up another run, this offense run, they're trying to need to get the answer back. Well, they're really trying to like do this. And they didn't really go with another plan to try to like leave them out the gap. They're trying to like get them out of here and then try to replace with a new player. It's not really the same thing that they were doing this. They've got to get into that. A lot of fence, no hustle. The inbounding is tough. Don't be aggressive if you're going to take over this. Now back on the court, as right now the new substitution's been made as Roy Hachimura will check into Vanderbilt. Here's Russell. Gets a pass to Porter to James. Or Jr. on it now. Hachimura to Reeves. Reeves looks it over. A screen coming in for the two. The two-pointer misses the target. That's a lot of hard misses for Austin Reese. He has to pick something else and try to make them to go by. Aaron Gordon face the shot, finds Murray. Now Murray will try to give it off to Carwell Pope. Here's a two for Carwell Pope. Rebound, Jokic up and reverse scores for the layup of Jokic. Jokic has got this third bucket, a 12 to two run. Now here's James, pass to Reeves. Russell on Murray. Two minutes remaining in the first half, and a drive will scoot it in for D'Angelo Russell. He has his first bucket. They're down by eight. A lot of clear and division out there. They're not really showing you what they were going to get. Here's it past Delver to Murray. Murray back to Carwell Pope. Free for Porter Jr. The second, the third three-pointer is no good. He passed to James, watching him, and good take, and good take for LeBron James. He has his first bucket, and now they will have to call timeout on the other side. They don't need to talk about one over here. That three-pointer was a miss for Michael Porter Jr. All that doesn't really happen enough it is not enough to get over this attention on run score. This offense run is like putting on a little breakdown of it. I mean, give them a clear break. They really are need somebody else to try to pick it over. Yeah, not really anybody else can do that. They really are showing it off like they did. Unless they did, they don't have anybody to make the cool out of it. To keep your eyes tuned here for the new Animated Sanity Invitational plus the Pride Month here on June, it is going to be a very tough one to make that one a call. And it's already now in June, so the Pride Month, we're always going to get this thing right down it and enjoy the moment. And if you've always been noticing the Pride, it is what everybody does here, far back from the Anime Insanity, back in Episode 3 here of the Anime Insanity Invitational from two years ago, for 2021. As we did remember this before, you know Pride, that's what we do here to make them how pride and show the show the confidence. Yeah, the feeling of it is all down your hands. We really love to say it is a, it's a great cooperation, and they always really love to enjoy it. Now the new substitutions are being along here. It's three players are checked out. Reeves, Davis, and Russell, and Schroeder, Beasley, and Bamba are checked in. The Nuggets are also making new changes as four players are checked out. Four players checked in. Thomas Bray, Jeff Green, Burke Brown. Bruce Brown and Zayn Smith. 
Jokic out the outside. Shoots over Schroeder. Over Bamba, no good. He will take his first rebound. And now James trying to roll up an attacker. And Bamba right toward the outside. Jokic watching it. Beasley. Screen on Bamba. And the foul has been reached. Nikola Jokic receives his first personal. And their first team foul calls for Denver. They're not going to like try to reach it over. You don't want to like try to reach it out too soon. If you do, they will have to call that one a foul if you keep on going from behind, in, in front of you, from the, from, the, from the hand or elbow. You, you might be swiping it behind, but don't do anything aggressive. Achimura in around him. Layup, good. Jokic didn't really see what was going, but now it's Hachimura with the first bucket of the night. Bruce Brown pass to Smith. And that bounce pass. Almost lost the ball here, but Green holds on. He now, if they're not going to change it up here, they're going to get, they get over it. And they need to get it done right away. Green for the three. And goes over the backboard. That goes to Laker ball. With 17 seconds. Well, he should have made that one a three. That would have been excellent for him. But unfortunately, he hit that rim. It's not very that clean. Schroeder on Smith for the two. Three bad, let's take it. Smith to Jokic. Now here's Green. Give it up. Smith for three. And off the rim. That ends the first quarter of the game. The Lakers trail by four. And we'll get a quick break when we come back at Mile High after these messages. And if you're tuning us here for the second quarter, we got the second one coming in. To tell how this clear, from each between the regular season and the playoffs, let's supplement this with strength. How did it really turn out that it's a lot of higher range in the Western Conference showdown? Well, and this might be the my only timing decision because the Lakers they are really that tough team. They really wanted to do this again. Sometimes or ever, they really wanted to say they just did it for part of the last season. They never did it like that. But they don't really care for anybody like they did here before. They just showing it like they had. Yeah, it's been pretty spectacular. It's not what everybody does. They really gotta make sure they get it right in timing. Nobody wants to do this one all again. And that's what the hard one goes, but you gotta get it done. Jokic makes it two. And Porter Jr. with the assist. Eight points in the bucket for Nikola Jokic. And now Beasley's on Porter Jr. Back over it again on the outside is Reeves. Here are the shooter. He's on coming up by Jamal Murray. And we have his Beasley on Porter Jr. Then Bruce Brown covered in here by Jared Vanderbilt. Then Austin Reeves on Thomas on Jeff Green. And finally, we have it across here, Jokic on Davis. Another two-point bucket score off the mark. Here's Murray for the quarter three. Castro. That's a first three-pointer for Murray. Oh man, you always say that the Canadian player just really got a good open shot. You can't just get rid of it. Davis on Jokic. Schroeder back again to Reeves. Stopping the inbound. And Davis, oh! Whoa! Oh man, you can't just like, try to like say that. Anthony Davis, are you kidding me? You are gonna have to elevate this one process? Don't be that clear, guys. The blue arrow, it's all that turns out to be Jamal Murray. But don't be a grip that mind for him. They've really done that. Roy Jr. back again to Murray. Shoots over around Davis. Oh, what a fancy try! Watch that replay again. Oh, man. Jamal Murray, is that what you got? I never noticed that you were going to get there right with the upper and around Davis. That is cool. Yeah, I like that too. And that was a, a, a terrific drive presented by Mobile One. Another miss by Los Angeles. Denver lead by nine. And now Bruce Brown will finish this right hand and finishes up with the scoop in. Bruce Brown's got his first bucket. And you know these guys from University of Miami in Florida, they really are turning one of a lucky guy. He could be out here all night. 
because of him. He was the biggest part of it before he was dragged into the Pistons. And that time, they really got that much. Yeah, everybody knows that first round is doing it really well. But you always keep your eyes on there and you really want to keep your right into it. You always going to love it. The first round is one of the bad things. And better. The moment does have it all. Yeah, just believe it. They really are showing their spirit. And because everyone knows that, they just really keep me clear. And they wanted to show it how they well they do. I like it. When they have the we have the moment to enjoy their shells. Let's make that clear. And if, once again, right now at this moment here with the new episode of the Anime Sanity Invitational. That'll be next month before we hit summer break and end it up with the 2022 to 2023 of the new episodes. And then we will step in to be back after summer break to head in right now to 2023 to 24 new episodes. So stay tuned with us guys because we still have some competitors who's still ready to take on anybody. And it'll be ready to be right towards the April and finish it off. Well, not to see. Six competitors, then final two, and then that will be it. I'm really excited because it really comes down to this season. I don't know how fast it goes, but you, you never see what it's going to be like. Now with the new substitution, Aaron Gordon, as our now shooter, is checked out. DeAndre Russell's checked back in. Murray passes it Gordon. Brown, Green, and Jokic checked out, and Najee, Gordon, and Garbo Poker checked in. Inside alone, Porter Jr. around him and counting it. And one for Porter Jr. Malik Beasley with the first personal foul. That will be on Los Angeles with 3.16 to go. Now that's why I say Michael Porter Jr. was out and doing it again. Now lay up. You have to believe him. And right now he's at the free throw line shooting one. The University of Missouri. He's all of them and his great player. The confidence of his only moment. You never really notice that Michael Porter Jr. really does that one after he finished his college career with one of the Missouri Tigers. They really are impressed. Free throw settled in for Porter Jr. And that's what everybody knows him. They are giving that one a good franchise player to and to make the team we bring the all-star in to enjoy it. Now Russell on Murray. Three minutes to go. Davis on Najee. Shoots it up. In the air. No good for the two. Najee with the first rebound and now we'll give it over to Jamal Murray. Murray trying to move it around. Helps Najee with the screen. It's rejected. And now Najee gets a fade. Oh, Davis got it that time. Here's Reeves on the fast break toward the corner. Stepping it back. Find Davis. And good to here. Austin Reeves with the assist. They're down by 10. Now that better play the motion out there. From Reeves after it, and it's Davis with the steal, you can't just go right for it. That's what everyone does. Keep it right with you. Here's Porter Jr. on the inside. Double man on him. Murray, four to three. Hit off the rim too soon, and it's not quite free enough. Well, that's what everyone says. Not quite free enough, not quite enough to make the three. Deputy Davis makes a drive. We are under two minutes to play in the first half of the period. Now Murray will try to deal it out again to end up the first half. And Najee went out of bounds. That's going to be a very difficult call because you can't just like run out of the line. Maybe the controller was bad. I don't know what it does, but maybe it didn't really help it. Now the new substitution is being left out as right now the players are checked in. James is back on the court. He'll check in. Looking it over. Carwell Pope on James. A foul's been called. KCP with his first personal. And their first team foul on Denver. 143 remaining in the second period of the game. And LeBron James trying to get right into this one. St. Vincent and St. Murray is the school for him to be here before ending into the draft of the NBA. Well, let's be honest like now, he never attended college already, just like Michael Jordan does, because he was from University of North Carolina. That's what nobody has heard. He always says, 
I never want to attend college. Every parents just say it is very that tough that I want to make new friends. But you can't just say that all black, they're not very really that important. But don't be mindful if they are doing it. They really want to get done and right away. Yeah, LeBron James really knows that one. He's all into this now. St. Mary's, I guess that might be an option. Jackson finds Gordon. Now the outside range to Cobalt Boot. James is on the cover for him. Here's Jackson with the finish. And count the bucket one! Ricky Jackson, the big government with the finish. Now that is just a great uh, kill. That's the foul. They always did that. Now with the free throw line, shooting one will be Ruggie Jackson. Now that's what I say. If nobody has that one out there, you don't have to worry about that. That's what they always do. Keeping a good range out there, though. There you are. <laughs> well, definitely does. Good for the free throw. Reggie Jackson has his first bucket, but now the Lakers of Los Angeles trail by seven. James, looking it over, covered up by Carwell Pope, trying to push it in to try to make it inbound, move it around, and that will get through. LeBron James, his second bucket of the night, down to a minute ago in the first half. Ben Smith gives it to Jackson. Moves back to Smith. Good plays. That goes with Jackson's assist and first bucket for Smith. Now that passing creation turned to be like that. From cutting in and then ball out to the zone and in the zone on the paint. That's when it goes in and out. Here's Russell on Smith. Mamba with the screen. Right in the move. And Russell will finish the drive by a right hand. He has his second bucket of the night. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Jackson on Reeves. Passes back to Smith. Try to help him out. Fades the shot. Finds Jackson. Jackson passes to Smith. Over to Angelo Russell. Oh, he was tough on that. He has his second bucket. And Smith. Now with 10 seconds. James on a fast break. Trying to move it around on Contavious Crowell Pope for the back set. And off the board. And Crowell Pope taking it for deep. In off the rim. And so the Nuggets have the lead extension. 31 to 22. Stand by for the halftime show. Time for David Aldridge. 8 8. Hey, guys. This is Mike Malone. As the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish. And get the ball to where our players can be effective. See if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David. See you all later. It's a 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, guys. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. As right now, the Lakers are just trying to get battle in this game. And hopefully, let's find out how it does. Nuggets got a great start of the lead in this progress, but the Lakers have already been turning it down. They really want revenge out there to try to tie it up in the series before heading to Los Angeles. Let's start up with the Nuggets. Now, we've never seen them playing here since 09, but as you already have noticed, this was the only toughest breaking bag out the chain. This reasonable matchup is not really turning out that great. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be hard enough, but it might be one occasion to do for any. And for the Lakers, they really are trying to get this thing a lot their harder strength. They're trying to look it over, they need to get it again. If they don't, then they'll, they'll have to practice it and keep on hard at the single cost. They need this. And that's a wrap for the halftime show. Let's send you back down to Mile High. See everybody later for the post-game show. Welcome back to Mile High, as right now we start with the 31-22, the lead of the Nuggets. 
We all say from University of Missouri puts up a Michael Porter Jr. The biggest guy at the small four position turned out great. The better range of this guy, he knows he was doing really well. And you can't just really tell him that he was a, a biggest player on his offensive stride. They really are turning out to be him. And just nobody else, but you can never just go wrong with him. Michael Porter Jr. is one of the biggest players in this game. I know what you're thinking. Can never, can we never go wrong. You want it. And D'Angelo Russell will finish the drive in the bucket. And it's assisted by, by, by Austin Reeves. Here's Carwell Poe. He's covered up by, by Carwell, by Austin Reeves. Sorry about that. Made the shot. He's over to Murray. Over again to Jokic. Moving around Davis. And good in the range. Jokic has his fourth bucket down. Now that is what everybody does. Mobile drive put up for Jokic. And yeah, we got a great replay of that one for the 2K TV drive presented by Mobile One. Now Russell will tap it up here on the outside to try to make the move. And inside, Vanderbilt try to step it back. Now with the two, slam it. Jared Vanderbilt has that one the first two bucket score in the first half. It was, was come to a silent, but now he's in for the second half. That's what he never does. He wants it. Here's Carwell Pope on the outside. Now gives it back to Murray. Down bounce pass to Jokic. Around Davis and go the bucket one. That is where he does. Jokic has gotten 12 points. Now this Rangy is starting to be like he's a joker. He wants to mess him up. I don't know what you ever call him for the joker, but the Serbian player, you just can't feel that he was already been out here just a while. That was Jokic. That was a bring out success. And Jokic will head it out. He has 13 and they're back up by 10. They're trying to get over to see where they want it. Here's Russell on Murray. Now Reeves inside, and he's fouled. Yep, that did happen. Now he went early, slightly early, and he did not get it. And he didn't notice, and he fouled him. Well, Austin Reeves is going to have to get to the free throw line because he done it again. Not so good. They really need to get that one to stop. This most advantage is not going to improve anybody else like they did. First free throw up for the Los Angeles Lakers. As right now they're trying to get a free throw. Yeah, he makes the first free throw. Now you never know that Austin Reese was going to make that one out there. He's really into the move and into the cut. You just do not believe him what he's going to ever absolutely do. Because of him, he really doesn't. Second free throw is good for Austin Reese. Nuggets, trailing Nuggets up in the lead for four, four, six. Now the screen already set. Finds Jokic and a good pass by Murray. That's Jokic's 15th bucket of the night. Murray had already been putting it right into it, almost kind of deflected it, but it still stayed out. You change on Porter Jr. Open overhead pass to Davis and a shot. The two is missed. Porter Jr. making another way on his uh, offensive run, and now Gordon gives it back over to Murray. Now swing to a bad deep pass, overhead pass to Porter Jr. And Murray going over the overhead pass, and oh! Did he knock him down? I guess he did. How would he ever do that? He, is that really necessary to do this? Uh, I don't really think that would have been. <laughs> well, he's already been knocking down out there. No, don't mess up on him. You never really want to get over this. Because I'm already here that far. And I said, I'm sorry, Bubba. I should have never messed up on you like you always said. Like, I'm a fool. Well, he's not a fool. You shouldn't be that one more of a sensible if you're trying to make over this. Ah, uh, sorry. I never really want to do this. Never miss beer by LeBron James Drive. And Carwell Pope will take it over. They're up by 10, and Jokic moving around. 
And a shot. Third round, James. It's good. He has his 17 points in the game. Timeout called by Los Angeles. Man, the, the team of the Nuggets, the number one seed in the Western Conference, on a streaking run. They're never going to give up. They really say that we want to do it. We cannot wait to make it to the finals. Because the last time in 2020, they already been lost against the Lakers part of the last part of the game during the pandemic. They never really noticed that we're going to get there that far back in season four. And that's why. They were really done that, but they did. No, if you particularly mean it, they really were doing it very that hard. More than mature, and you can't just really say, they were really up to a great start. And this offense is putting up a lot of hard work beat They really want that. But I don't know if you can count that, because they're really up to it now. The NBA Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. And moment, that inspires. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or get a free quote at 1-800-STATE-FARM. And by Mountain Dew. Dew to do. As you get this thing started right away, this is where we get right towards it as the new players are checked in. Now here's Schroeder. He will take it over for the start. Beasley is on Brown. Three players are already been checking out and now they're back in. Najee, Green, and Brown. Nachi Mora on Najee. Screen on Baba. Big enough drive, and that's a pretty good type of play in this game drive. They really have to do something else about it. Because of him, Roy Hachimura has been really done with the layups in this last game. Back from their Denver Nuggets here, they really are keeping it up to a single digit. Brown, back to Murray. Bounce pass to Jokic. Made the shot. Oh! He didn't want to do that! And Jokic has 19. He's killing it! Well, killing that one here because of right now, sky's the limit, Jokic. It's the Joker rule. Two minutes remaining in the third period of the game, and James on green. Bamba on Jokic. Bamba, shooter for three on the outside. That free, oh! Bamba! He's just coming in, he said, I'm coming, here I go. Here's Murray. Now we'll swing it over again to Jokic and now back to Green. Green passes to Murray. Back to Green. Bounce pass to Brown. With the move around take. Two is out of the line. Didn't want to take the jump ball. Murray still on the outside right now. And right now Jokic. Green for three. Rebound again by Jokic. That's another one below. Jokic receives his eighth rebound. They're always sprinting an inbound and they never really want to give up on this player because they're keeping it going. Green tries again. And another miss by Denver Nuggets. Well, he's trying to make the three. He wants to extend it. But all he doesn't have is not a conquire out of this one, not how the accuracy was putting in bounding. Jeff Green really need to get that one right away. If he doesn't have it in time, well, he might have to do it somewhere else. Jokic pass to Green. The overhead pass to Jokic. Spade a shot. And three for Murray. Almost went in, but it was off the rim. Schroeder with the spin move around Green. And it's rebounded by Bruce Brown. He will receive his second rebound. And Jokic on its way. Here comes Najee. Spade a shot. Jokic for the perfect two. It's rolled in and out. James with the ball. Now makes it over to Beasley for the two and a buzz beater. Missed again. That's the end of the third, and it's a 42 32 run. They are up by 10. Making it fast. They really are doing a lot much pressure they always had. Yeah, keep it running. Mile high is the place to be. We are on now to the fourth quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. You're watching the NBA Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports. And a moment now for the hustle of Mike Molo. Raising a shot. No hesitation. We're back. The 
It's time to come every time, all right? Now that defense up, they can play against that set thing, all right? You just got to take care of it and defend without foul, okay? This, dude, this really has to turn things out because Mike Malone's trying to get the hustle in, in a group. This offense really never sees it going, but it all has to happen right from him. They really are showing it up that they're going to have to improve it. Yeah, and everybody really knows it. The lab of the chemistry, they really are trying to get this thing done, but they're not really like trying to like put it authentic. Oh, Davis with the one and dunk down. And D'Angelo Russell says, Davis, this is for you. You better be, you better cash that float in. And he had it. Oh man, I never knew that Anthony Davis was doing it, and D'Angelo Russell got a great one timing. Or Jr. pass back to Bruce Brown to take the three. The free mark went quick. Rory Hachimura with the second rebound now over to Davis. Davis, all oh, Michael Porter Jr. trying to make a spirit, and he caught him. Anthony Davis with the bucket run. He knocked him out of here. Oh, that ankle breaking. He did get that. That was what happened already. Hopefully oh, he's fine. And that was your one one drive for the Lakers. Here's Brown back again to Porter Jr. Finds Gordon. Gordon around to Jared Vanderbilt. And good. Inside out. He finally receives his first bucket. He's quiet alone. I know you can definitely think about him. You give it up to a credit. Davis on break. Looking it over from the outside of the range from the elbow. And Russell back on the outside in the wing. Rolling in a slot. And two pointer counts it in for Russell. He has his scoring quarters in the drought. They're trying to leave it back. The marking of it, it may not be uh, important at all. You don't know when it will be happening like that. Almost lost the pass. Gordon. Trying to give it back to Porter Jr. Porter Jr. trying to get it up. The range. Gordon up. Oh! Two hand dump down. That slam was already been putting up there. I never know you could do this one here, Gordon, because that, that is like the biggest I've ever seen. Wow. What a finish. And that was your offensive. Aggressive drive and the dunk to and jam. Presented by AT&T 5G of the Slam Cam. That was finishable. In crushing and mounting, that was everyone's favorite. Thomas Brent has his first personal foul and a number two foul calls for Denver. D'Angelo Russell at the free throw line shooting two. They're already been showing it up out there. You don't want to miss them. They really are making an offensive drive. They are just trying to answer back. Take break. Take break. Russell makes the first free throw. Now with some new substitution, as right now, Jackson checked in for Brown. And he nails both free throws. They're down by six with 341 remaining. Here's Jackson, the big government. Nice Brent. Brent back to Jackson. Now give it to Porter Jr. Porter Jr. trying to survey the floor from in between Apache Mura. He on the shot clock. Need to get it done. And Jackson for the two. He's off the range. And Davis now pulling it on the attack. Going down by six. They need this. They need to get this point done to get it down by four. Davis with a step back. Two. And no good. Three minutes to go. Carwell pulled back again to Porter Jr. Jr. And Carwell both decided to go back to the outside. Gordon trying to go for a three. The freeze off the wall. Well, he was going to make that three pointer, but it didn't seem like he didn't go right enough at this moment. Can't leave the mark. Oh boy, the call contact foul on Denver Nuggets. Grant has a second. Nikola Jokic trying to tell him not to get warned by D'Angelo Russell, but he did anyway. That's not good. You don't want to mess him up already. 
That's two in a row. D'Angelo Russell is going to have to try to keep up with the scoring breakdown and the offensive run to keep it ahead. First free throw set in for D'Angelo Russell. Now LeBron James will set it in from Roy Hachimura. Then we're looking to also making new changes as Brent and Jackson are checked out. Murray and Jokic are checked in, back to a starting five. And good for the second free throw. Nuggets from the mile high CT will call their timeout. With only 241 remaining. Tomorrow's game will be happening with the Stanley Cup Eastern Conference Finals as the Bruins and Canes rematch again at TD Garden. Following along with another game here on uh, uh, Tuesday night, that will be the Avs and Kraken rematching again at back at Ball Arena here. That will be the next location to be on the start of their run. The matchup is always that particularly and made that one a change off. The scoring in this drought is like a hard one to believe. Every since you know that, that's what everyone really has to do for us. They've got to know the truth. The better of this team, the player this advantage has all countable. They really need a step in bound. Just a quick announcement for all of you guys. If you have already got your tickets down, you might want to get your book deal scheduled up. And the first location will be in Los Angeles. But if you're in a part of the town in Los Angeles and made it already for the plane, you will be getting a noticing you here from the Saving Media Center to have the creators and the show time the start of premiere. So that'll be on June 25th to keep your eyes on the focus out there. We'll see you later for your first location of the night. The New Balance player of the game goes to the Joker, Nikola Jokic. Jokic already been showing it up like he's already done it before. He's the biggest guy. Ever since you've already noticing two winning of the MVP titles, they always know for it to step him out. That's what they always care for. Yo, Kitch, he's really the biggest man ever you call them. I did speak to David Aldridge here before and I, at this moment, and he had made it a worry because the Jokic and the team of Mike Malone's of their progress. They really are trying to make that one inbounding goal to make that one a tough bound. They're trying to make that one a connection to go with the feed and pull it right up toward it again. They wanted to do it more. No matter how hard they do, they have to make that one clean and get it done. Now on a fast break, or Jr. back again to board it. And right now at this moment, Mike Malone really has to step, stand it up to himself. Keep moving around. You don't have to just try to make it with deflection out of it. You don't have to do it all alone. Just do the best as you can. And that's what they do to keep it in bound. Here's James to two. No good. Jokic back to Gordon. Your team's on fire tonight. They were on their feet. Jokic. On again. Over to Jared Vanderbilt. Murray on Davis. Davis trying to pull up a locked defenseman down. And Carmel Pope. Down to three. Deep three for Murray. It's blocked. That hits off of Anthony Davis. And Jokic didn't get it enough. Let's find out with a one more driving block range by Davis. Well, if it was Davis on that inbound, he would have swapped that. It says, not in my house. That was all it did turn out. Defensive set. All oh, the breakable scores has just been turning out to be a release man. I don't know what to do with this one because of earlier play right a champ score. James with a two. Good! They're down by two. Looking to tie the run, and now it's Carmo Pope. Pope finds it to Murray. Murray around Angelo, and it's fouled. D'Angelo Russell fixes up his first personal, and Jamal Murray at the free throw line shooting two. That Canadian player never wants to quit, and because that foul really does it again, he knows it for sure. Yeah, everybody just been saying that one here. You don't want to mess it. That's what this score does, because they really are keeping it out of here.
Murray hits the first free throw. The Canadian player always needs to give him up the good strategy, the gaming offenseless, and always to improve them to be on his best team with the Nuggets. The chemistry, the dynamic duo by Jokic and Murray, the best two players in the Nugget team. for the second free throw. Luero is the name for Murray. Yep, you always can't believe him. You always, you always know for him for sure. Now James, try a bit of a run. Whoa, he missed up. Second time, stop. Try to put up the rain. Back it up and score the two. He says, is this where you're going to try to block it? I don't think so. Well, he's not really doing this much at it all the time. They really are doing this again. Murray again. He puts it back. The fade. Now back to Gordon. And now we'll have the time to bring the clock down the wire. Fire on the shot clock. Murray. Porter going to do it. Missed it. Russell. On the attack, change for the lead. Off the range. Now back over to Jokic. Now we'll have the time to give it a foul for Anthony Davis. Just about 17 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Man, the Nuggets have already been a stronger team in the first seed. They are looking to, to make a disappointment on the seventh seed of the game. Well, everybody really cares for him. That's what Jokic does. The power team overrated. First free throw in for Jokic. And he, Joker really does that. That's because of him. He's a new balance player to master. Second free throw good for Jokic. <laughs> Second to last time out for Los Angeles. So 17 seconds. For the moment at this point, it will be saying how tough it is. As of right now, with the next game statistics, here's what we will have to say, to say for Son of Beast. Son of Beast, who do you got here? Well, thank you very much. I've always had to tell them what they always got to do. There's going to be another way to find out because the Nuggets are very turned out, very not popular on the team. But the Colorado Avalanche, they're looking to get another game to put it back if they're ready to show them up. The Avalanche team are supporting the Nuggets in Mile High. I think they're looking to do it again. Because they're very off to an authentic run. I think they wanted to make that one a tie at the single digit. They want it. They really want to do this at all. But for the Boston Celtics, they support me over the Boston Bruins. I'm thinking they should tie this game up for the Avalanche on the Kraken. I think we better see this one come in by their me phone. Because of that one, they want to do it. We'll be seeing them again for the next two days before we head into game three and four for the Nuggets and Lakers and Cavs and Celtics. That'll be the next one here to bring up the off two game days of the season, postseason, and get back into it now. Back to you guys. I'll be here for the post game show right after this. All right, thank you, Son of Beast. My pleasure time always has to be a come true. It does. Russell. For the three! No! Rebound! Good bait. Oh, bad out! Stopping the run. Fine, Davis. Back to Russell. Trying to look for the buzz beater. With the run to tie it. No! Oh, my! It's a finish! The Nuggets wins again! Oh, they couldn't make the buzz speed or they had to tie to go to overtime. That really has to settle it down. But after that, they lost it. Time for the New Balance player of the game at Stephen Aldridge stands by. Hey Dave, who do you have here on the sideline? Thank you, Nicola. What are you able to do that allows you to impact the game so dramatically? I don't know what is happening, but I'm playing good, the team is playing good. Uh, it is really flowing right now. We've progressed another win. Back to you. All right, David. Thank you. you 
And that will wrap it up. A wild win for the Nuggets. As for right at this moment, turns to be the best. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again for the next game in game three and four. Time for Sun and Beast to close out for the post game. See you all again. Good night, everyone. All right, Meat Phone, thank you so much. And right now, this is what the game has always been turning out. The total gain, 19% for the three-pointers for Denver. No three-pointers made for the Lakers. A little disappointing out there, run. Free throws were perfect for the Lakers, along with the fast break points, six, 38 points in the paint, and six second chance points for the Lakers. But on the other side right now, bench points was nine for the Nuggets, along with 18 assists. It's turned out to be a crazier game, and you, can, you can't just even think about what's going on right now, because everybody is all over on you. You can't just make that one happen. Eight offensive rebounds was even up. 17 defensive rebounds for Denver Nuggets. Then it was five steals for Los Angeles Lakers. Two blocks remained here for the Lakers. And two turnovers, eight points off. Five team fouls were even. That's pretty good. Along with the tie timeouts remaining, nobody will have their final timeouts because they leave it only with one. Four dunks remain for the Los Angeles Lakers. The biggest lead was 12 for Denver Nuggets, and time possession was 13:34. So I guess that does wrap it up here for the second game, because we will be back with the third and fourth game of the Nuggets and the Lakers and Celtics against the Cavaliers. That will be at Quicken, the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse and at Crypto.com Arena. Now, let's bring it on to close the three star players of the game for the Sunday Showcase. First star, as uh, the third star, will be on its way. I'm going to give a start up to D'Angelo Russell, who has 12 points, one rebound, assist, and a steal. Only had 14 performance run. Already been on a great run for this guy. Four out of seven field goals, not that bad at all. The second star of the player goes out to Anthony Davis. He gets two blocks to deflect and reject it. But also one steal, four rebounds, and 12 points was his game. Two dunks performed, 12 performance run, 6 out of 12 field goals. I know you can't believe it, but you don't want to make that one good playable if you get it down. And this all comes down to the one star player, the New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. 21 points, 10 rebounds, 9 out of 13 field goals, and only at 21 performance run. He is the best. The legendary player and a superstar may be moving him up to a legendary. He can be a great player like you know it before. Well, I guess that's really about it. Thanks for joining us here, and we will be back for another NBA playoffs. But for tomorrow, we'll be the Stanley Cup playoffs of the conference finals. In between the two, Bruins and Canes at TD Garden and Avs and Kraken at Ball Arena, which is the same location as you've seen for the previous game. Thanks for everybody for watching, and peace out everyone for a while as the NBA Western Conference Finals of 2K Sports style. This is Son of Beast, and you can find me on my social media on the go. If you don't, somebody will. See you all next time. Good night and mile high. If you don't. <laughs>